moving to another level. I am moving to another level. Moving to another level. Inasonga kwa kiwango kingine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You not remain where you were before. Usibaki pale ulikuwa kule nyuma. Because God is doing a very new thing. Maana Mungu anafanya jambo jipya. He says I've come to do a new thing. Amesema kwamba nimekuja kufanya kitu kimoja kipya. And he's doing it with you. Na anakufanyia. So make sure you don't lose it. Hakikisha kwamba usikipoteze. Some of you have already received a fire to pray without ceasing. Kuna wengine wameshapokea moto wa kuomba bila kukoma. That fire has come to lift you to another level. Huo moto umekuja kuinua kwa kiwango kingine. Because there is a plan of the devil. Maana kuna mpango wa adui. But God has a good plan for this city. Lakini Mungu ana mpango mwema kwa mji. And that plan he's no. doing it with you. Na huo mpango anafanya nawe. Hallelujah. Amen. He will take you to where you have never been. Atakupeleka pale haujawahi kuwa. Every new level has a new devil. Kila kiwango kipya kina shetani mpya. So be aware of this new devil. Ukaweza kumtambua huyu pepo mpya. I don't fear that new devil. Usiogope huyu pepo mpya. Because there is somebody inside you greater than him. Kwa maana kuna mtu mkuu ndani mwako kuliko yule, kuliko yeye. Do not even look at them and say now they are nearing me, they are in they, they are in my neighborhood. Usi usiangalie sana kwamba wako katika katika maeneo yangu, wako karibu nani. They are going to receive a fire from you. Wanaenda kupokea moto kutoka kwako. That they have never seen. Ambao hawajaiona. They will run out of this City. Na utatoroka mji huu. And the city will be lifted for Jesus. Na mji huu utainuliwa kwa Yesu. With this ministry. Na huduma hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This ministry is not just ordinary. Hii huduma si huduma tu ya kawaida. There is a reason for this ministry in this city. Kuna sababu ya huduma hii katika mji huu. And that's why you are here. Na ndio sababu uko hapa. You were not brought in this ministry. Haukuleta just for nothing. Hukuleta kwa huduma hii kwa bure. Not just because you have gone to church. Si kwamba tunaenda kanisani. There is a purpose for your being in this ministry. Kuna kusudi la wewe kuwa katika huduma hii. And that's why you are here. Na ndio sababu uko hapa. To take up your purpose. Kuchukua kusudi lako. You must know your purpose. Lazima ujue kusudi lako. And be sure that you don't bro- do break down. Na usihakikisha kwamba uwezi uwezi kufa moyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be taken to another level. Lazima upelekwe kwa kiwango kingine. Intercessors I talk to you. Waombezi na wane There is a new level for you. Kuna kiwango kipya kwenu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you keep on breaking down. Kuna wengine kila mara mnarudi nyuma because you, you are seeing another, another a new devil in your Mana life. Maana unaona pepo mpya kikuja. But that new devil has not come to put you down, he has come to lift you higher. Lakini huyo pepo hajakuja kushusha chini, amekuja kuinua juu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have always said that every time I pray, uh, things get worse. Umesema kwamba kila mara nikiomba mambo yanakuwa mabaya. They are getting worse because there is a new devil. Yanakuwa mabaya maana kuna pepo mpya. Just to know that and Jua hiyo. the spirit of the Lord is lifting a standard for you. Roho wa Mungu anainua kiwango kwako. Do not break down. Usivunjike. Do not fear anything. Usiogope chochote. Do not fear anybody. Usiogope yeyote. Do not fear your situations. Usiogope hali yako. Go forward. Enda mbele. Even if it means one person. Hata kimaanisha mtu mmoja. Sometimes he will tell you to do something that you have never done and you don't see anybody to help you do it. Wakati mwingine anataambia kufanya kitu ambacho hujai fanya na utaona mtu wa kukusaidia. And when fear comes inside. Uoga unapokuja ndani mwako. He'll be there with you. Atakuwa pale nawe. He's maturing you to another level. Anakukomesha kwa kiwango kingine. Hallelujah. Eh, Amen. It is time for maturity. Ni wakati wa kukoma. As apostles told us the other day it is not about your age. Vile mtu alituambia si kwamba inahusu umri wako. It's not about the age of Pastor Irina lo. Si kuhusu umri wa mtu yote. It's not about how many years you have taken the salvation. Haijalishi miaka mingapi umekaa katika wokovu. It's about the Holy Spirit. Ni kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. Quickening your heart. Kukurahisisha moyo wako. To a new level. Kwa kiwango kingine. No matter what happens. Haijalishi kile kinatendeka. No matter what challenge you meet. Haijalishi changamoto. No matter what rejection you see. Haijalishi kuataliwa kuna unako kuona. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those come to lift you. Hayo yote yanakuja kukuinua. You for this wonderful level you are going in. Kwa kiwango kwa kiwango hiki kikuu unachoenda ndani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of first Samuel. Twende katika Samuel wa kwanza. Chapter 2. We are reading from verse 11 kuanzia 11 and 12. Na 12.
Father, we want to say thank you for this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you have made this ministry for yourself in this city. Thank you, Lord, because you're making them what you want them to be. Thank you, Lord, because you're maturing them from one level to another. Thank you, Lord, because they will never be pulled down again. No matter the powers that have come against them. No matter the worship of the enemy. No matter the, witch, the, the, the shrines around them. No matter the mosques around them. It doesn't matter Lord. Because you are with them. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. It says then Elkanah went to his house in Ramah. But the child ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. Kisha ilkana akaenda rama nyumbani kwake na yule mtoto akamhudumia bwana mbele ya, ya eli kuhani. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about maturity. Nasungumzia kukoma. This boy had just been left uh, removed from the breast. Huyo kijana alikuwa ametolewa tu kwenye matiti. Removed from the breast. Alikuwa ameondolewa tu kwa matiti. And taken to the house of God. Akapelekwa katika nyumba ya Bwana. Because he was dedicated to God. Maana alitiwa wakfu kwa Mungu. Given for the work of God. Alipeano kwa kazi ya Mungu. Some of you were given to the work of God when ba you were uh, by your mothers. Baadhi yenu mlipeano kwa kazi ya Mungu na mama zenu. And when you grew up, you said, I don't want. I don't want to serve God like my mother. I want to have a home. I want to get married. I want to have a husband. And a good job. And I will just be giving in the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But remember this woman. Lakini kumbuka mama huyu. Is seeking God. And praying for her children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She has dedicated her children for God. And the anointing is automatically falling on the children. So no matter how much you love to take your own way. God wants you to return. Mungu anataka ureje. Humble yourself. Nyenyekea and seek him. Na umtafute. That he may take you his way. Ili akupeleke kwa njia yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This young boy was in the house of God. Huyo kijana alikuwa katika nyumba ya Mungu. Left alone by his father and his mother. Ameachwa peke yake na mama yake na baba yake. But he never looked back. He did not cry. Lakini hakurudi nyuma wala hakulia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he came out of a womb of a praying mother. Maana alitoka katika tumba la mama muombezi. He did not fear. Hakuogopa. He stayed there. Alikaa and the Bible says he ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. Hallelujah. Amen. All this time the apostle was telling us that you are not serving man. You are serving God. But you must serve that God and a man. Lakini lazima umtumikie huyu Mungu chini ya mtu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that man must prepare you. Maana huyo mtu lazima kuandae. That man must teach you. Lazima huyo mtu akufunze. That man must help you. Lazima huyo mtu akusaidie. You cannot stand on your own. Hawezi simama peke yako. You need a man. Unahitaji mtu. You need a father. Unahitaji baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we have bishops but they have no fathers. Leo kuna maskofu lakini hawana baba. How did you become a bishop? Ulikuwa askofu vipi? Who made you a bishop? Nani alikufanya kuwa askofu? You are coming out of the way Unatoka kwenye njia of God. Ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He does not do anything out of his way. Kinyume, kando na njia his yake. way is not your way. Njia zake si njia zako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have been anointed okay. Ya, like this boy was anointed. He came out anointed after all. Very anointed. He did not play around with other children. 